also I'm gonna redo a read-in with Chloe and I think I'm gonna be reading this book and also I was one of the four winners for the Instagram challenge I've never won anything like ever 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 so for me this is like a big deal and I won with a picture that like this picture I had on my phone for like a month now and it just shows like it's confirmation for me like I don't need to try so hard like you know what I mean like how do you say it like I for the other challenges like I have fun when I try hard like I love trying hard it's one of my favorite things like I'm gonna try hard but it's just like confirmation that like you don't need to try hard to you know get things in life anyways let's read what does subjugate mean Good question. I don't know. To conquer or subdue. I hear you. Are you like highlighting? Yeah, so much. Nice. I'm on page like uh, 20 and like I have so many tabs. That's so awesome. I just hear you like going at it and I'm like, hell yeah, Willa. <laughs> There's so many good things. I mean, like they're all speeches, you know? So yeah. obviously they're all like powerful and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta highlight all of this. Right. Okay, cool. Nice. It comes as a sh great shock around the age of five or six or seven to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper that the Indians were you. God. Damn. I don't know who Gary Cooper is, but I understand the context. I do too. I don't know who that is either. Yeah, and it also says, like, we yeah. made a legend out of a massacre. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. What a... Oh my god, we made a legend out of a massacre. Ugh. Yeah, that one hit me too. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's really good though. I'll continue. Sorry. See you tomorrow. Hi. Bye. To watch the TV screen for any length of time is to learn some really frightening things about the American sense of reality. We are cruelly trapped between, between what we would like to be and what we actually are. And we cannot possibly become what we would like to be until we are willing to ask ourselves just why the lives we lead on this continent are mainly so empty, so lame, and so ugly. These images are designed not to trouble, but to reassure. They also weaken our ability to deal with the world as it is, ourselves as we are. I'm going to give my rabbits some banana. It's scary because Ella, she gets so excited she starts to bite, but we're going to see if we can make their butt twitch. Something rabbits do when they feel a lot of pleasure. Lilo! Is that good? Judy, don't bite my finger. Don't bite. Just, just don't bite, please. Sweetie, no. no. Ah! You're so gentle, though. Ella would have bit my finger off. Was it good? Ella gets super excited. She starts to bite and shit. So I put it on here. I put it on this little clipper. Can you get butt twitches, sweetie? Look at that butt twitch. That's all of it, honey. You'll get char charm. You'll get too. Just wait a minute. He definitely gets butt twitches. Oh, look at those butt twitches. So because I show my rabbits a lot, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that you're not supposed to give rabbits a lot of like fruits and bananas. I just did that today because I just got bananas and they haven't gotten any in like many months. So it's a very exception. Um, and I also do, don't keep my rabbits in cages. Uh, they're just there to pooping and Lilo here, she's very attached uh, to her pen, I call it. We tried to eliminate the word cage, very attached to her pen, like she loves to be there, but the doors are always open, like they're never there, you know, never stuck there. Uh, I just want to put a disclaimer for that, Who, for anyone who has rabbits or who wants to get a rabbit, uh, they're never supposed to be in a cage. <laughs> so I remember that I need to go and buy hay, which is so unfortunate because I thought I had to stay home the whole day and I could do that and just read, but I gotta go buy hay. It's almost five, it's like... 4.30 and I still haven't read any of the 80 pages in The Dark Forest or any of the 100 pages in The Danish Girl, but I did finish this which is like 100 pages. So not bad Wilma. I did have a lot of thoughts on this once I finished it, but now it's gone a while and I forgot and that's why my wrap ups suck because uh, I forget my thoughts. I really enjoyed this. I gave it 4 stars of Goodreads 
but I I don't know if I should give it five stars. I don't know if it's like a new favorite, but it's very American. There's a lot of reference to like our country and like our people and like that kind of thing, which for me was like a downer, but I understand like that's also a lot of what um, James Baldwin talked about and fought for but I really as you can see this is I, like I have so many tabs I highlighted so many things there were so many great passages there's so many things I loved the saddest most uh, disgusting part is that I feel like all of this can be applied for today he's talking about specific events but the the messages and everything is just so relevant still and I'm like oh god guys why haven't we gotten further by this point? But that's why it's still relevant and why I think you should still read it. It is so quick and so, I wouldn't say fun, but it's a enriching experience to read it. And I'm actually really glad I read this before I watched the movie. I don't know if this would be beneficial if you've already seen the movie. But yeah, I really loved it. So, highly recommend I am your N-word. I'm gonna go by Hey Now and read later. Also, I actually sort of dressed up. Doesn't look great, but it's better than my PJs. I literally go to the store in my PJs. Like, I would go in my PJs, but I needed new stuff, new uh, new energy, new, new fabric. Hi. Okay, wait. Oh, uh, no, this is a bad angle. You can't see all of me. So I ordered these two pair of pants from Gal Groovy, I think they're called. They're like a small business, and they costume make made to order all their clothes, which I think is cool, support support small businesses. Uh, I'll link their Instagram down below or the website or wherever. And I bought two pairs of pants. The first pair, I love buying clothes online. Like, buying clothes online is like my kryptonite. So, the first pair, I'll, I'll stand on this thing. Uh, it's a pair of Frida Kahlo pants, okay? It's, and they're super loose. Is it am I gonna die? And they're so comfortable. They're like non-stretch cotton and they're colorful and I love them so much. Okay, cool. I'll show you the other pair too. They're actually two different models. Like you can tell like, oh, that looks funny. You can tell this one's like tight fit, you know, like around the bum. The other ones are super loose and it's like sort of like the fleece is stretch. Eh, oh my God, look at that. Woo! Okay, I'll stop. I'm just really excited and I wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm getting really distracted by this live stream uh, between Juno Dawson and Lucy the Reader. So it's amazing. Juno Dawson is like an idol icon. Oh my god. Love her. And this talk is just like so reassuring and amazing. So I was just here cooking. And then look at this massive spider like just hanging from the air. Stop. Okay, so I think I've finally gotten to like the good part of this book and and the rest of this is one chapter. What? Why don't you put in chapters? I don't get it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Actually, it's the earliest I've ended a vlog ever before 12 o'clock. So I didn't read anything in the Danish Girl today and I think I'm gonna give up on that. I just wanna make sure I finish it this week. Oh, it just poked my eye. I just wanna make sure I finish it this week. But I did le read like all of I'm not your n-word. Like I finished a whole book today, so I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Didn't read anything in the Danish Girl, but I'm like quite a bit through this. If you don't know, I'm reading 80 pages of this every day, so I only have 10 pages left of this tonight, uh, which I'm planning to read right before I go to bed, and that's gonna be it for this vlog. Oh yeah, I had like a one hour read-in, one and a half hour read-in together with some people from the Discord chat that we usually do when we host read-ins, but we were just four people and it was a really fun time and encouraging and it made me actually like get through this book. Also, this book just got real good real quick. Like if you've been following my vlogs, you know, like this has been a slow ride, but for some reason it went from like a two star to a five star in like a 200 year time jump. Like you jumped 200 years and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, this might be like the 200 year time jump after that. It might be my favorite science fiction earth world. Like 
I'm so geeking out about like where this book is going right now. I can't wait to read more of it tomorrow. Mm, so excited. So yeah, I want to inform everyone who watches this vlog straight away that at 5 o'clock uh, Central Eastern Stan Summertime, I will be hosting, nope, Jazz will be hosting another read-in if you want to join that one. And the link to the Discord is going to be down below where the link to the Sue meeting is going to be if you want to host. I'm so tired, you guys. If you want to participate in that, what else was I going to say? Yes, on Sunday, at it starts at 5 o'clock, but I'll probably be there uh, on there for many hours. I'm doing like a marathon, end of the reading rush, trying to get all finish all those books before the end. You can drop in and drop out whenever you want. I'll probably be there for many hours on YouTube at 5 o'clock Central Eastern Summertime. So I want to inform you of that so you have a little bit of time to prepare if you want to join me. But otherwise, comment how you're doing what challenges you've completed down below. Bye!